Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Amit and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my 15 month update on the hair transplant that I got from Turkey. So for those who don't know, I got not one but two hair transplants done in Istanbul, Turkey from Vera Clinic. Back in the day, I was losing hair pretty badly and I decided to go for a hair transplant about two years ago. The first time I went, I got 6,100 grafts extracted from my donor area and placed onto my hairline and mid scalp. And I documented that entire journey from the start up until my hair pretty much grew back. However, I couldn't complete the crown because the clinics advised me it wasn't the safest option at the time. And I ended up going again last year to get my crown done. And I got 4,000 grafts extracted and placed onto the crown, a little bit on the mid scalp and as well on the hairline. I've also been documenting that entire journey on this channel from the start to finish to show you guys the authentic view of how the hair actually grows on your scalp month to month. And you know, for anyone who's getting a hair transplant or has gotten one, hopefully these videos give you a good guidance or something to reference to your own hair transplants. I suppose a ton of interesting and useful content on this channel about a hair transplant. If again, if you're considering getting one or if you've already gotten one and you just need some help and guidance, definitely check out the other videos in the channel. There are a bunch of things there that could be useful for you. As always, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel because it really helps. It goes a long way. And of course, if you just want to see me hopefully grow a full head of hair. Okay, so let's jump straight into the update. It's been about 15 months now. I've been seeing my hair grow slowly and slowly. I remember the times where at the beginning of this hair transplant, I was feeling very unsure about the situation, but like they say, the crown does take about 15 months to grow fully out. So for me personally, I think having that patience is really important. And as time has gone by, I've seen my hair grow more and more. Granted that I'm nearly at that 18 month mark, there's still three more months to go, but I am still confident that hair will still be growing in that area because I've been seeing it for the past couple of months as well. At the 12th month mark, I remember I thought this was it, but surprisingly it's been growing more and more since then. Again, I'm still holding out to the 15th month. I'm, I'm excited to see where that goes. I recently went on a trip to Italy and I was roaming around the city without a care in the world about how my hair was looking. My wife managed to film some parts when I was walking straight, but again, you can see how the hair looks. It doesn't look as if I even had a hair transplant or it doesn't even look like I'm losing that much hair in the back. It actually looks pretty good. So at this point now, I'm pretty satisfied with how it's turned out overall. I can't really complain too much. A lot of people in my comments do suggest certain things to try, maybe do SMP, or maybe taking hairs from my beard and placing in the back of my head. I think I mentioned this in other videos, but I'm just kind of waiting for the 18th month mark and then I'll make my decision. But until then, hey, who knows? There might be an influx of density towards the 18th month. I'm still planning to wait that long. So definitely stick around for those videos in the next coming months. Hopefully we'll see a full head of hair on my head by that time. Now let's jump straight into the 360 view of my hairline, my mid scalp, my donut area, as well as my crown. As usual, I never know what to do. So here's my awkward smile. Let's instead focus on the hairline. The additional 200 grafts I added the second time around really was a great addition to the density in this area, which really shows here. The side of my donut area looks great, especially when I keep it out. No scarring is seen. Moving on to the back of my head, the donut area looks completely untouched and the crown is looking nice and covered. The other side of my donut area looks just as great without ever giving any idea that I had a hair transplant. And now let's take a close up look at the hairline, the mid scalp, the crown, as well as the donut area. Despite not touching on it a lot lately, I'm so proud of how my hairline has shaped up to be over the last few months. The hairs look and feel really strong. As for my mid scalp, I added 600 grafts here to add more density and it has really come through. I'm really happy with how it's turned out and it feels great to be able to brush my hands through my hair without the fear of losing any. Now for the crown. Despite the back not being super dense, I'm actually very happy with how it's looking now. I was literally bald in that area before, so having this much hair back there now is a miracle to me. Now this is the part where I show you the progress of the top down view of my scalp from the first month up until now. For the first three months, I went through the shedding and ugly duckling phase, which is honestly the worst part of the whole hair transplant, but it did get better. The following three months was actually not too bad as more hair started to grow out. The next six months is really where the hairs took their time to grow, but it was completely worth the wait. The last two months, the growth has surprisingly been increasing. And finally this month, I'd say that that growth has been pretty consistent. 
For aftercare, I have been consistent with what I've been taking. Not much has changed, but I do find myself forgetting sometimes to keep up with my aftercare only because I feel like my hair is good. But I'm having to tell myself that it's not enough. You have to keep doing it or else you're not gonna sustain the results that you've worked so hard for. So the first thing I take is Finasteride every morning. I take 0.5 milligrams every other day at the present moment. I used to take it every single day, but I've cut that down because I've seen my hair stabilize over time and I don't see that much shedding. So I've been sticking to 0.5 and it's been working fine for me. I also take a bunch of vitamins in the morning. There are a lot that I put on the screen, but the most important ones to me are biotin and B-complex. They have the best ingredients for hair growth. So I would highly suggest you get those if you can. A company with the vitamins and the finesse chart in the mornings, I use minoxidil every morning and night. I start my day and I apply it straight away onto the areas that I want to see hair to be regrown in. Mainly, it's mostly on my crown at the present moment. I do see some growth from it, so I would highly recommend you also stick to it because minoxidil is something that you have to stay consistent with to see the results, and if you don't, then you're not gonna see the results. I use a brand called Growplex. It's been pretty good for me for the past year and a half. I haven't had any complaints. I've seen growth from it, so that's why I'm recommending it. So if, if you're interested, I also do have a discount code with that product in the description below. Check it out. It could be useful for you as well, and you get a sweet little discount. Now moving on to some of the shampoos and conditioners that I use. I use the Rabita Hair Density Shampoo and Conditioner. They have been pretty great for me, to be honest. I used to use it three to four times a week, but now I've cut down to maybe twice a week. Only reason is because I see my hair is more stable, so I don't have to apply so much of thinning shampoo on it all the time. But it is still pretty useful for me because it does give me a sense of density and my hair does feel and look thicker afterwards. I made a full review about the product as well. You can check out that video if you haven't already. And I also do have a discount code with that. You get 20% off with my code PHTT. It's in the link in the description below. Definitely check it out also if you haven't already. Another thing that I use all the time is rosemary oil. Now, I do talk about this mostly in all these videos, but I do have to emphasize how great it has been. I felt like I've been tracking my progress over the past six months using it, and I've seen so much growth from it. Now, it could be a combination of everything else, but rosemary oil is also proven to help in the long run for hair growth. So I would highly recommend that if you haven't tried that. It's also an option from all the other stuff that I've said. Rosemary oil, in my opinion, is great and has been for me. So I also do derma rolling time to time, but not as often, to be honest. The only reason I say that is because I feel like the growth has been coming out from other aspects of my aftercare. So I don't emphasize too much on that anymore, but I still do it maybe once a week or if I do remember once a week, not it's not all the time that I remember to do it, but I'll be honest with you, it's useful, but for me personally, I just haven't seen so much of progress with it. It's again, it's up to you if you're interested in getting it and trying it out for yourself. There's one of the packages on Growplex's website that it comes together with it, so you can try it out and see if it works for you. So I did mention earlier that I went to Italy last week and was walking around with my hair out and not a care in the world. But one of the funniest things is that I still brought my fibers around with me just in case that I wanted to use it. But the reality was that when I got there, I didn't feel the need to use it. Now don't get me wrong, I still am a huge advocate of it. I, it's what got me to where I am today because it helped me cover a lot of bald spots in the past. But just at that moment, I realized I didn't need it as much. Even now in London, I just went for another party and I completely didn't even think about using fibers at the time because I didn't feel I needed it anymore. Which is again, is a great thing internally for me, but I know there are a lot of people out there who still need it. So I would highly recommend it if you need something just as a temporary cover on your scalp for any balding areas or any hair loss areas. Links are in the description below of all the products that I've spoken about today, so definitely check it out. This journey so far has been pretty crazy for me because I came from literally nothing. I looked pretty terrible, but over these past two years, my hair has grown so much that it's brought back so much confidence in me and to be able to share that story with you guys. I'm really happy that everyone has been following along and you know it's, it's given me a lot of encouragement to help people out there even more. I'm trying to create some stuff on the side for you guys that makes you know your lives easier because I know when I got my hair transplanted, it was not easy at all at the beginning. I wish I had someone like me doing these videos so, so I could even tag along and follow along. But regardless of that, I'm just glad I'm here to help. And if you guys also need more help, I also do have a one-on-one -on -one hair consultation service that you can book some time with me and we can have a chat about your hair and what your plans are and what you wanna do with it. If you need help figuring out what type of clinic to go to or 
what do you need to say at the doctors? I'm your guy to help because again, I've been through this twice and I know exactly what I'm talking about. So there's a link in the description below. Definitely check it out and book some time and hopefully we can have that conversation. Okay, I think that wraps up today's video. I am reaching the end of my monthly updates as per se, close to the 18th month mark, but I still wanna keep showing you guys progress over time. So I'm gonna try to get a little more <laughs> innovative with my videos in regards to the monthly updates. But as of now, I think what I've been showing you guys has been very vital and very crucial for anyone who is looking to get a hair transplant. So hopefully it helps in any way. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.